A large crowd, including a host of family and friends, gathered at the Cathedral of St. Diego de la Vega in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, on Saturday morning to pay tribute to journalist and track and field commentator Hubert Lawrence. As you know, we work together at CVM um, doing Boys and Girls Champs, and I tell you, there were many a days when I was tired, um, you know, just doing the long commentary, and I could always count on Hubert to just finish off. <laughs> I would just give him that look, and he knew, me tired, you know all the stats, you continue. That was Hubert. We could always depend on him to give us information that we didn't know. Some of the biggest names in athletics, government ministers, Athletes, past and present, were in attendance. I really regret his passing. And today, I share in the celebration of his life. Hubert was a really humble person, but yet so talented. And he is a shining example and will always be a shining example for the sports fraternity. Twice voted the most knowledgeable person in track and field by World Athletics. Lawrence worked at all the major media houses in the region. He has been described as the authority and most commanding voice in local track and field, providing accurate statistics and analysis. He had a world of knowledge and he was an encyclopedia of knowledge in track and field. And that, I don't see that, no. I think we will definitely miss that. And, um, you know, I can't, I, I, I have to say that I'm going to miss him, especially this time around, because it's an Olympic year, um, track and field season. Next week we have a huge meet. We have the June um, national championship. And he's definitely going to be missed on the landscape of track and field and as a human being. We also share, we live in the same place in Caribbean Estate. And so I'd run into Hubert every now and then, him driving by in his little car, <laughs> or running into him at, um, you know, in the plaza in Portmore. So um, I'm glad I'm able to celebrate his life today. Lawrence died at his home in St. Catherine on February 23, at the age of 64. Angela Melville, CVM Sports.